okay i'm going to talk about s attributed grammar and i will give you some background information first so as to introduce s attributed grammar in a natural and intuitive way and suppose we have a context free grammar like this a number goes to sign list and sign goes to positive sign or negative sign and list goes to list bit or just one bit and bit goes to zero or one so it's this context free grammar is a representation is a binary representation of number for example we have the input string like uh, negative sign one zero one so it's a binary representation of number and here we have the uh, past three okay here the problem is coming up suppose we want to know the value of number specifically we want to know that decimal representation of number what should we do uh, just uh, just according to this formula convert the binary representation to a decimal number and for this number this one at position zero so so we uh, so we have one times two to the zero and this this bit at position one so we have two to the one and this bit has uh at position two so we have two to the two right accordingly in the uh past tree this one reduced to bit so uh since this one at position zero so uh, we can say this bit at position zero and this bit at position uh, one and this bit at position two accordingly we could add another information into this bit for example uh, we uh, we add the uh, value to this bit what's the value of this bit just this part so the value of the bit is one and the value of this bit is zero and the value of this bit is this part four right and now we have each bit's value right um, we have the value of each bit and how can we calculate the number uh, just follow the bottom up parsing process we can uh, pass the value of child node to uh, to the uh, parent node so uh, the value of list is is four right we pass the uh, since as the four from bit to list, so we have the uh, value of four, and we can define uh, we can define the value of this list is um, at the uh, left part of the value and and the value of right part. So uh, the value of list is is four at zero so it's four and this list is four plus one so value of list is five and combined with the uh, negative sign so the value of number is negative five
So in order to calculate the value of number, we need to pass the uh, value from child node to parent node. From the uh, child node to parent node. So basically, uh, follow the bottom up uh, parsing process. And finally, we synthesize the uh, value from uh, left side and uh, to the uh, right side and have the value of number. So as we can see, we need all of these uh, additional information, the value, right? All of these additional additional information stored in the past tree so as to calculate the number. And all of these additional information stored in the past tree is the attribute. So here we introduce the concept of attribute. What is the attribute? Attribute is just the additional information stored in the past tree, like the value position in, uh, in, in this node and the value and position in this node, right? All of this additional information called attribute. As the, uh, as the context-free grammar has production rule, similarly, uh, every attribute have attribution rules. Uh, for example, uh, for example, the uh, negative sign reduced to sign. So in the past three, negative sign reduced to sign. In this case, we have the we uh, we have the attribution rules. So the the negative of sign is true, right? And in this case, bit reduced to a list. For example, bit reduced list, and we also have the uh, attribution rules, uh, which is pass the uh, value of bit to uh, value of list. So, so here we pass the uh, value of bit to, to the list. So this is called uh, attribution rules for, the, uh, for each attribute. You may have noticed that in this past tree, during the uh, process of passing attributes, we only have two directions. The one is passed from child node to parent node. Another is passed to itself. So we only have two uh, pa uh, passing directions in this pass tree. Uh, for example, uh, the, value, the value of zero is passed from zero to bit. Right, which is passed from child node to parent node, and this is according to uh, these attribution rules, zero reduced to bit. And for this part, uh, the position, the attribute, the attribute of position, is passed to uh, itself, which is according to uh, these attribution rules. Since we need to. Uh, is we need to calculate the uh, value from the position. So we have uh, the, uh, the value of four is equals to one times two to the position two. So we use position to calculate the value. So uh, so the passing direction of of the attribute position is from uh, is from position to value, which is has to itself. So in in this past tree, well, we only have two passing direction, from child node to parent node, or to itself. 
Now we can introduce the concept of synthesized attributes. Uh, what is the synthesized attribute? If, if the attribute is passed from child node to parent node, or is passed to it itself, then this attribute is called synthesized attribute. Uh, as you can see in in this past tree, in this past tree, uh, all the uh, all the attributes are passed from child node to parent node or to itself. So in this past tree, all the attributes are synthesized attributes. If one grammar has only synthesized attribute, then this grammar is called S attributed grammar. Here, S represents synthesized. So, uh, if one grammar has only has only synthesized attribute, then this grammar is S attributed grammar.